The early Cyrillic alphabet is a writing system that was developed during the late 9th century on the basis of the Greek alphabet for the Slavic peoples living near the Byzantine Empire in southeast and central Europe. The objective was to make it possible for them to have Christian service in their mother tongues, instead of in Greek, which they did not understand, and to bring them closer to the cultural influence of Christianity, the official religion of the Byzantine Empire. It was developed in the Preslav Literary School in the capital city of the First Bulgarian Empire in order to write the Old Church Slavonic language. The modern Cyrillic script is still used primarily for some Slavic languages and for East European and Asian languages that were under Russian cultural influence during the 20th century. Among some of the traditionally culturally influential countries using it are Bulgaria, Serbia, Russia, Ukraine. History the earliest form of manuscript Cyrillic, known as Ustav, was based on Greek uncial script, augmented by ligatures and by letters from the Glagolitic alphabet for consonants not found in Greek. The Glagolitic alphabet was created by the monk Saint Cyril, possibly with the aid of his brother Saint Methodius, around 863. It was an adaptation designed to link the language of their mother, who was of Slavic origin, Slavanka and their father, who was the Greek military commander of Thessaloniki, the second most important city of the Byzantine Empire. Cyrillic, on the other hand, may have been a creation of Cyril's students most notable of whom was Clement of Ored in the 890s at the Preslav Literary School under Bulgarian Tsar Simeon the Great as a more suitable script for church books, though retaining the original Bulgarian symbols in Glagolitic. An alternative hypothesis proposes that it emerged in the border regions of Greek proselytization to the Slavs before it was codified and adapted by some systematizer among the Slavs. The oldest Cyrillic manuscripts look very similar to 9th and 10th century Greek uncial manuscripts, and the majority of uncial Cyrillic letters were identical to their Greek uncial counterparts. One possibility is that this systematization of Cyrillic was undertaken at the Council of Preslav in 893, when the Old Church Slavonic liturgy was adopted by the Bulgarian Empire. The Cyrillic alphabet was very well suited for the writing of Old Church Slavic, generally following a principle of one letter for one significant sound, with some arbitrary or phonotactically based exceptions. Particularly, this principle is violated by certain vowel letters, which represent J plus the vowel if they are not preceded by a consonant. It is also violated by a significant failure to distinguish between G and G orthographically. There was no distinction of capital and lowercase letters, though manuscript letters were rendered larger for emphasis, or in various decorative initial and nameplate forms. Letters served as numerals as well as phonetic signs, the values of the numerals were directly borrowed from their Greek letter analogues. Letters without Greek equivalents mostly had no numeral values, whereas one letter, copa, had only a numeric value with no phonetic value. Since its creation, the Cyrillic script has adapted to changes in spoken language and developed regional variations to suit the features of national languages. It has been the subject of academic reforms and political decrees. Variations of the Cyrillic script are used to write languages throughout Eastern Europe and Asia. The form of the Russian alphabet underwent a change when Tsar Peter the Great introduced the civil script Russian, Grazdanskij Schrift translate. Grazdansky Schrift, or Grazdanka, Grazdanka, in contrast to the prevailing church typeface, Russian, Serkovnoslavanskij Schrift translate, Serkovnoslavjanski Schrift in 1708. Some letters and breathing marks which were only used for historical reasons were dropped. Medieval letter forms used in typesetting were harmonized with Latin typesetting practices, exchanging medieval forms for Baroque ones, and skipping the Western European Renaissance developments. The reform subsequently influenced Cyrillic orthographies for most other languages. Today, the early orthography and typesetting standards only remain in use in Church Slavonic. A comprehensive repertoire of early Cyrillic characters is included in the Unicode since version 5.1 standard, which published on April 4, 2008. These characters and their distinctive letterforms are represented in specialized computer fonts for Slavistics. Alphabet <laughs> 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 In addition to the basic letters, there were a number of scribal variations, combining ligatures, and regionalisms used, all of which varied over time. <laughs> Numerals, diacritics and punctuation 
Topic. Each letter had a numeric value also, inherited from the corresponding Greek letter. A titlo over a sequence of letters indicated their use as a number, usually this was accompanied by a dot on either side of the letter. In numerals, the ones place was to the left of the tens place, the reverse of the order used in modern Arabic numerals. Thousands are formed using a special symbol, U plus 0482, which was attached to the lower left corner of the numeral. Many fonts display this symbol incorrectly as being in line with the letters instead of subscripted below and to the left of them. Titlos were also used to form abbreviations, especially of nomina sacra. This was done by writing the first and last letter of the abbreviated word along with the word's grammatical endings, then placing a titlo above it. Later manuscripts made increasing use of a different style of abbreviation, in which some of the left-out letters were superscripted above the abbreviation and covered with a pokriti diacritic. Several diacritics, adopted from polytonic Greek orthography, were also used, but were seemingly redundant. These may not appear correctly in all web browsers. They are supposed to be directly above the letter, not off to its upper right. A trema, diaresis, U plus O308. Avaria grave accent, indicating stress on the last syllable U plus Aoxia acute accent, indicating a stressed syllable Unicode U plus A titlo, indicating abbreviations, or letters used as numerals U plus A camora circumflex accent, indicating palatalization U plus In later Church Slavonic, it disambiguates plurals from homophonous singulars. A dacia or daisy numa, rough breathing mark U plus o four eight five. A sali, zavadultsi, or salon numa, soft breathing mark U plus o four eight six. Signals a word initial vowel, at least in later Church Slavonic. A combined zavadultsi and varia is called apostrophe. A combined zavadultsi and oxia is called iso. Punctuation systems in early Cyrillic manuscripts were primitive, there was no space between words and no upper and lower case, and punctuation marks were used inconsistently in all manuscripts. Anyo teleia, a middle dot used to separate phrases, words, or parts of words. Full stop, used in the same way. Armenian full stop, resembling a colon, used in the same way. Georgian paragraph separator U plus OFB, used to mark off larger divisions Triangular colon U plus added in Unicode 4.1, used to mark off larger divisions Diamond colon U plus added in Unicode 4.1, used to mark off larger divisions Quintuple colon U plus added in Unicode 4. 1, used to mark off larger divisions Greek question mark U plus e similar to a semicolon some of these marks are also used in glagolitic script used only in modern texts comma U plus c full stop U plus e exclamation mark U plus topic gallery topic Topic. Old Bulgarian examples Topic. Pictures of Old Bulgarian manuscripts and inscriptions Topic. Medieval Greek uncial manuscripts from which early Cyrillic letter forms take their shapes Topic. Pictures of uncial lectionaries Topic. Early Cyrillic manuscripts Topic. Pictures of Old Church Slavonic Weekly Gospels Topic. See also Topic. Media related to Early Cyrillic Alphabet at Wikimedia Commons Relationship of Cyrillic and Glagolitic scripts Bosnian Cyrillic Romanian Cyrillic alphabet Reforms of Russian orthography Topic References Topic Topic Sources 
Topic: Berdnikov, Alexander and Olga Lapko. Quote, quote, Old Slavonic and Church Slavonic in Tex and Unicode. Quote, quote, Eurotex 99 Proceedings, September 1999. Birnbaum, David J. Unicode for Slavic Medievalists. PDF. Archived from the original PDF on the 3rd of August 2004, September 28, 2002. Kubberly, Paul. 1996. The Slavic Alphabets. In Daniels and Bright, below. Daniels, Peter T. and William Bright, eds. 1996. The World's Writing Systems. Oxford University Press. ISBN 0 19 507993 0. Everson, Michael and Ralph Clemenson. Quote, quote. Final proposal for encoding the glagolitic script in the UCS. Expert contribution to the ISO N2610R. PDF, September 4, 2003. Franklin, Simon, 2002. Writing, Society and Culture in Early Rus, c. 950 1300. Cambridge University Press. ISBN 0 511 03025 8. Ilyev, I. Short History of the Cyrillic Alphabet. Plovdiv, 2012. Ivan Gilia Kratka Istoria na Kirilskata Osbuka. Plovdiv 2012. Short History of the Cyrillic Alphabet Lev, V. The History of the Ukrainian Script Paleography. In Ukraine, A Concise Encyclopedia, Volume 1. University of Toronto Press, 1963, 1970, 1982. ISBN 0-8020-3105-6 Simovic, V., and J. B. Rudnikij. The History of Ukrainian Orthography. In Ukraine, a concise encyclopedia, Volume 1, Op CIT. Zamora, J., Help Me Learn Church Slavonic Osbuka, Church Slavonic Calligraphy and Topography. Obstagit.net, Cyrillic and Glagolitic Manuscripts and Early Printed Books. Topic. External links Topic. Old Cyrillic Stara Slavanska Ezek text entry application Slavonic Computing Initiative Church Slavonic – typesetting documents in Church Slavonic language using Unicode Fonts Church Slavonic – fonts for typesetting in Church Slavonic language Church Slavonic topography in Unicode Unicode Technical Note No. 41, 4 November 2015, accessed 23 February 2016